Hi, my name is Francine and this is my daughter Sophie. Over the next few weeks we'll be leading you through several yoga practices. Today we'll be going on an undersea adventure. If you would, make sure you have a lot of space around you where you can move. Looks pretty good here. I would like for everyone to stand up now. Sophie, stand up. And we're going to get the wiggles out. So move around and wiggle. Get the wiggles out. Okay, let's start winding it down. Please have a seat on the floor or on your mat. When you get there, I'd like you to sit up really tall. Close your eyes. I'd like for you to start noticing the inhales and the exhales. Now with your eyes still closed, start to notice the sounds that are around you. The sounds that are close by, like maybe my voice, and the sounds that are a little bit away from you. Maybe you hear a car driving by, or maybe birds. With your eyes still closed, take a deep breath in, and as you blow it out, you will blow out the breath like you're blowing through a straw. So breathe in through the nose, and blow out through the straw, an imaginary straw. Now allow your eyes to open. Take your arms out really wide. And I'd like you to bring your fingers in and just touch your nose real gentle. And then we'll open the arms back up again. And then we'll touch the nose. Now I'd like for you to close your eyes as you open up your arms one more time. Can you touch your nose with your eyes closed? Here's my nose. No, but you're close. Is this my nose? No, you're close though. Is this my nose? That's your nose. Yeah. Excellent. Now allow your eyes to open. Make a C with your hands. And I want you to rest your fingers very gently on the bottom of your ribs. I would like for you to take a nice deep breath in and see if you can feel your ribs touching your fingers and moving. Now take your hands and rest them right beside your belly button. Can you breathe in so much that your belly moves out and touches your hands? Try that a few times. Yes. Good. Wonderful. Awesome. All right, rest your hands on your legs for a moment. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. And again. That was a big breath there. And we'll get some stretches in before we go on our adventure. Adventure. We'll take our right hand down. We'll do our right hand this time. Put your right hand down. Reach your left arm up and over. Good. And then we'll switch sides. Reach up and over. Good. Fingertips are up to the sky. Reach up really tall. Do the hands. Nice. Take the arms to goal post. 
We're going to do a really slow twist from here. Twisting open to one side. We are a washing machine. But we're not moving fast. We are slow washing We are a slow machine. washing machine. Do not move fast. We hold clothes in our arms. Right. <laughs> we go slow, very slow. Now, rest the hands back down. When you're ready, I'd like for you to stand up. Stand up. To, to get to the undersea adventure, we have to take a plane. Obviously. Yeah. So we'll start off by doing some propeller moves with our arms. Now these moves are not really fast. Let's just take it nice and slow. So the arms are up, back, and down. You can maybe take one at a time, then the other. take another plane ride to get to the sea. We'll stand on one foot and you'll take your other leg and step it behind you. And if you, then you lift it up. You can lift it up if you want or as Sophie's showing. If you, can you can't. Just rest on your toes. Bring your arms up by your ears, everyone. Get and, hands. And then we'll take the hands behind us, swoop them out to the sides, and then we'll go back up. And back. And we'll do that again. Up we go. And down. Wonderful. Now we have to switch legs. So bring the foot that was behind you to the front. Step the other foot behind. Toes can be on the ground. Or you can lift the foot off. Bring the arms up by your ear. And then swoop the hands behind you. And then up we go. And again. Good. And then up, back down. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Up we go. And we birds in the sky. Just like it. Mechanical boy. birds. That's right. Now, step tall or stand tall at the top of your mat. When you're ready, we're going to sit right back down. So cross your ankles and carefully sit down like on the ground. Very nice. Very nice. We need to take a bike now to the beach. If you would, let's put on our helmets. Like cat helmet. There you go. With your knees bent, we're going to lean back a little bit and lift our feet up just a little bit. And we're going to ride our bike. So pedal your bike. Hold on to the handles. Hold on to those tight so you don't fall off. That's right. I'm going to ride our bike to bike. the beach. <laughs> Ow. That's right. Come back up and let's ride the bike some more. Oh, now we're going to go up a hill. Oh, it's hard. It's so hard, but we can do it. We have succeeded. And now we're going to go down the hill. So we're going to go a little bit faster. And at the bottom of the hill is the beach. Ooh, I love Now, stop our bike, take off our helmet, and if you would, let's stand up again. So cross your ankles and stand up. Or if you don't want to cross your ankles, just stand up. Just stand up the normal way. Just stand up the normal way. That's right. Now, I want you to stand really tall. And now we're standing in the water. And the water is reaching our hands all the way up to like our wrists. Um, and we're going to move our hands back and forth in the water. And maybe we're going to move a little bit from side to side. Can you feel the water between your fingers? I feel it. You feel it? Now, even though we're on the beach, we see an island, and we're going to take a boat out to it. So when you're ready, we're going to sit back down in our boat. Sit down, and bring your legs out in front. You or you could bend them a little. You could bend them a little. Grab a hold of the oars, and we're going to row our boat part of the way to the island. You're going to reach forward, and then pull the oars back. Grab a paddle. Keep your knees bent. 
And we're going to paddle on one side, and then we'll paddle on the other. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Now we'll get too close to the island, and we're going to we're going to drop anchor. So grab a hold of the anchor. Oh, it's so heavy. And we're going to lower it to the side. Excellent. But we're not at the beach just yet, or at the island just yet. We're going to have to swim. So if you would, rest on your back. We'll do the backstroke for a while. There you go. Moving the arms up and back. You can move the feet too. You can do a big swoopy motion. My favorite swimming. Excellent. Sleepy swimming. And then, while we're swimming, something catches our eye. And we look over to the side, and we see a starfish. Ooh. Everyone stand up and be a starfish with me. Step your feet really wide. Take your arms up to the side and sway back and forth like a starfish. Does it move that much? We are starfish. We are starfish. See the starfish, be the starfish. Now, we look over and we see an eel. So we're gonna work our way down to the floor and we're gonna rest on our bellies for a moment. Come on down to the ground, rest it on your bellies, and let your arms go out in front. And you're gonna lift your arms and your legs up a little bit and you're gonna sway from side to side, moving through the water like an eel. Mm -hmm. Eels are hard to move. I know. And then we look over. And we see a jellyfish. Everybody stand up again. And be jelly. Arms are now tentacles. And we're just moving around, floating around. Getting the wiggles out again, taking the lake. Yes. We're moving around, moving all around the ocean. We are jellyfish. See the jelly, be the jelly. And finally, we look over. And we see a crab scurrying along the bottom of the ocean floor. Now we're going to sit back down. You're going to bend your knees, plant your feet on the ground, put your hands behind you like Sophie's doing. And when you're ready, you're going to lift up and you're going to walk to the side. I'm out of the water. I, I, oh, no. I'm a crab out of water. Crab out of water. <laughs> and we're going to go from side to side. I can't go too far, Mom. Oh, no. I mean, walk by the Oh, no. Beach. Come on back. Come on back. Back to center. Whew. You know how kind of hard work. It is. Now, we're going to swim the rest of the way to the warm sandy beach. I can already feel it. But before we do, I'd like for you all to take a moment and be whatever sea creature you want. Move however you wish. You can be a shark or you can be a dolphin. Is there a place for a turtle? There is a pose for turtles. You can bring your feet up and bring your hands in like that. Turtle. I'm a turtle. You're a turtle. I like turtles. I like turtles. Good. Whenever you're ready, after you finish that pose, I want you to rest on your back. We've now made it to the beach. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful, warm, sunny day. We've been swimming for a while. Beach. Eyes are going to be closed. And I want you to think about the warm sun on your skin. And then underneath you is the warm sand. And then you remember to put sunscreen on. And you have sunscreen on. Thank you, sir. With the warm sun on your skin, the warm sand underneath you, can you hear the wind in the trees? Can you hear the waves from the ocean? We'll take a few moments here just being still and noticing what we can hear and feel.
Now I'd like for you to take a deep breath in and let it go. And now wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. We'll make small circles with the wrist and your ankles. How do I with my ankle? I turn into semicircles. Just draw circles with your toes. I turn into semicircles. It's okay. Now, give yourself a hug. So draw your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. I love my body. And then when you're ready, you're going to rock up to sit on your mat or on the floor. Yes, I survived it. It was slowly or fast. Oh, I'll remember that for next time. We would like to thank you all for sharing this adventure with us. Have a wonderful day. And until we can practice again together, we say... Namaste. Which means... The light in me sees the light in you. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Mama. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.